Hey guys, Adrian here, and in the spirit of Halloween today, we have a Halloween themed video. You know, there's a lot of Fright Week stuff going on, all this crazy stuff going on as it tends to be around this time of Halloween, and, and I'm, I'm a big proponent of uh, horror films and movies in general, and that's something I want to talk a lot about on this channel, so I thought I'd take the opportunity with Halloween around uh, there this time of year to uh, chat about my top five horror movies, and we're going to jump into that in a second here. Um, but yeah, Halloween. So if you celebrate, if you don't, you're just a fan of horror movies or whatever, no worries, there will be, uh, no jump sc <laughs> scares. <laughs> How'd that get in there? Anyways, um, fun fact, uh, some background into Halloween. Halloween is actually based off of a Catholic vigil, um, kind of that of All Saints, based off of All Saints Day. Um, there's information even dating back, they're saying that Halloween is actually based off of the, a, a tradition in Ireland in the Celtic region, the Celtic, you know, way, way back when, um, on a tradition called Sowen, where basically November 1st would mark the New Year's for these, uh, they, they believed that, you know, this is their t traditional New Year's, where all the crops would kind of die, and it was a time of death because of, you know, the winter, and all this, it, it was a, fest a, f a festivity, I guess, for the New Year for them, that all this new stuff would be coming in, and a lot of that meant death with the winter time, the crops dying, all that sort of stuff. So that's where we kind of got the traditional origins of Halloween. So a little bit of fun fact for you guys. Anyways, that said, uh, I'm a huge movie buff and a huge horror movie buff. And it, it actually didn't start that way. I used to really, really hate horror films. And as I was little, I was really scared of ghosts and all these things. And as I grew up, um, it's something that kind of changes as I... Um, enjoyed movies more and all that. I'm not really a person who's scared of these things or believes in those things. Um, so that's why these top five horror picks are based off of my own, you know, perspective of fear and what gets me scared and all that. So starting with number one. Number one has to be the 2002 flick The Ring. That was one of the, I can recall, the first um, horror film that I saw that was really, truly scared me. Like I said, when I was younger, when I was a kid, ghosts and all that stuff really did scare me and I think Ring is one of those things that just scared you in the fact that it's not like a traditional ghost movie or something that it scared you in the fact that you're watching on a TV you know so you, you, would, you wouldn't even want to watch TV in general you know I, when I was little I used to want to like watch a scary movie and then watch something really funny or watch cartoons afterwards um, and the Ring really kind of uh, <laughs> shocked you into even wanting to watch anything else after you were kind of scarred for a while. So that is uh, my number one. And this is no particular order. These are just my top five. No you know, order of relevance. Number two, 1973 uh, was the original Exorcist. And this is a, like a whole movie series that's been obviously remade over years and years in different aspects of the story. Um, but the Exorcist obviously was that of uh, a girl who was possessed um, and um, just about the, performing the exorcism on that. And that was a really like visually scary thing because 1973 obviously that was you know, way back. Um, and I remember even seeing the original one really scared the hell out of me and even newer adaptions or adaptations of that film It's just a scary story. I thought and, and, um, You know involved this kind of demonic possession and all this really really creepy stuff um, Moving into number three. And this is kind of a series of uh, films that were all based off each other, but um or a sequel I guess um, But this is really where my horror kind of different took a different spin as I grew older as a ghost and things didn't tend to scare me and as um, I enjoy these horror movies, even just watching them by myself, kind of that adrenaline. What scares me more when it comes to horror, I guess, in that genre, is stuff that is, to me, that's actually plausible. I know there's ghosts and all that stuff, and I can't 110% tell you that that's not true and all that. And I grew up in a very superstitious environment. I grew up in Japan where it is very superstitious. I'm more afraid of things that can actually happen rather than, I think ghosts and all that stuff, there's reasons to all that. But nonetheless, that leads me to number three, uh, the original Hannibal. This was made in 1991, or sorry, sorry, Silence of the Lambs was made in 1991. Hannibal was based off that, after that, Red Dragon. I believe these are all based off the books because I remember reading Hannibal Rising uh, about two years ago. Um, so there's been four movies on this kind of genre of Hannibal Lecter, the, the cannibal. And cannibalism is just like, a, he's a serial killer, a cannibal. That was just like really creepy to me and really raw fear because it's something that in all aspects is totally 100% possible. Um, and it does happen. Not Again, the ghost things, I know people are gonna, I'm sure some people believe that's possible, those things exist. But to me, these are like real life things that are really possible that we see all over the world. Um, and it's just really creepy. So if you've never seen any of the Red Dragon, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal, those were really like, great thriller-based horrors. 
Number four, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The original one was made in 1974. The original one is crazy. It's it's introducing that gruesome aspect of horror. There's different aspects to me of horror. Some people are scared of certain things. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is kind of like Saw in that it was very gruesome. It was very gory. And, and, and the thing that Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the reason that scared me, that was based off, I like reading the origins of this. It was based off of the original um, kind of the serial killer that was uh, Ed Gein. And, and he would use to cut his victims and the skin and all this crazy stuff and it really is just kind of jaw-dropping and, and um, shocking that stuff like this would happen. And it may, it's, it's all sorts of twisted. Uh, last but not least, number five, Psycho, the original one by 19, 1960 by Alfred Hitchcock. Hitchcock, obviously, if you, you know, Twilight Zone, all that stuff used to creep me out when I was younger and the way he told it is just a great storyline and Psycho was definitely the original one is a really creepy thriller that later was adapted into American Psycho. I think there's two versions of that, I, I believe, and then one of my favorites being that of, uh, played by um, Christian Bale, the, the most recent adaptation of that. But that's, again, another really raw, it's not a true story, I believe, or maybe there's, like, origins of it, but it's just a really creepy sort of raw thriller that is possible. So that's why it really is kind of scary. Anyways, nonetheless, love to hear your guys' top horror movie picks. And again, what is horror? What is fear? What is these things to you? Is it ghost? Is it these monsters, these things that really don't exist? Or are you like me? You're more scared of the tangible, the physical world, the killer, the serial killer, the murderer, all this crazy stuff. Anyways, that said, guys, I will catch you all in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. And if you did, thumbs up the video and love to hear your guys' comments. Have a happy Halloween.